Eli Thompson. I work for WMT Spader in the VDC department. And today we're going to be talking about virtual reality or augmented reality in the actual construction field. So today I have a HoloLens with me. It's a product developed by Microsoft. And what it does is it allows the overlay of mixed reality and augmented reality into the real space. So I can upload models that we have designed at Spader, take them down onto the construction site that we're on and overlay them so we can actually bring up physical properties for the machines so you won't have to open them up. And a really easy way to do this is you take your HoloLens and then you scan this QR code that we have right here. And doing that allows the model to be overlaid and aligned in the real world so the machines are in the model where they are in real life. We are currently in a mechanical room in one of our large job sites. It's down in the sub-basement. And in here we have two pumps and a air handler unit that we're gonna be looking at today. Align the model using the QR code. So it's just as simple as looking at the QR code and then making sure your axes are aligned. And the model is now overlaid into the real world. So here I'm looking at a pump and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on it and I'm going to open up the properties for the pump. So whenever the menu opens up, I can see the family and what the pump is called. I can see the manufacturer for the pump and down towards the bottom, I can actually see the serial number and the model number for it as well. And I can even pull up the submittal for the pump as well. So we're gonna close out of this pump and we're going to look at the floor. Now we're gonna look at this other pump. It's, it's the same type of pump, it's just they will have different model and serial numbers as you can see. And I can even pull up the gallons per minute, the max FPS for the pump, and the feet for the pump as well, which is all important information that you need whenever you're maintenancing a pump and things like that. So we're going to close out of this menu. And what I'm doing right now is I'm going to be turning on X-ray. So what that'll do is that'll help overlay um, reality and the model. So it'll prioritize reality rather than the model so that things look a little bit nicer. And then here I'm turning on um, reality overlay, which will actually track walls and floors, so that's why you see those triangular shapes everywhere, is it's actually stopping the model and it's recognizing those shapes so that it doesn't project the model past walls and floors and other solid objects. So it really helps kind of define the shapes of the rooms that you're looking at. And you can see right here, it's fully tracking the pump shape. I'm going to try and pull up the menu for this back pump. And it works the same way as it'll pull up all the same information that it did with no issues. It's just now the model is tracking behind reality rather than directly over top. Here I'm just doing a little quick pan around the room. And now we're gonna look at the air handler. And you can see that it's tracking over the air handler as well. And it's really defined in the shape of the air handler. So another more practical tool that you can use other than a HoloLens is an iPad or an iPhone. And the really nice thing with this is, at least with Spader, we only have one HoloLens where most of our foremen and a large portion of our employees have iPads that they can download this software onto and use it in the job site. And it works just the same, if not a little bit better, just because of the less uncomfortableness with a HoloLens. So I already have the software already loaded up. So it's essentially the same process with the iPad. So I can look at this pump, I can click on it, and it'll show me all of the information that I need to know about it. So it'll tell me the manufacturer, its model number, its serial number. It can tell me its max PSI, gallons per minute, the amount of pressure that it takes to pump something up, 
the ro ro rotations per minute of the motor. And the really handy thing is I can actually put a link to the submittal for the pump so I can bring it up and look at all of the other information so I don't have to go searching through databases and things like that. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna pan around the room and what that's going to show is it's going to show a thing called drift. And with augmented reality, that's probably the largest issue is that whenever you move around for a longer distance, it'll start to drift where the models are. So as you can see, the pump is kind of offset to where it should be. And it's really evident with this little piece of piping directly in front of me. It's off about two feet, and that happens to whenever you move around so much. So we keep moving around, and you can see now the pump is offset three plus feet. And the piece of piping is off maybe four or five. With augmented reality and using it in, in real life, that's probably the largest issue that a lot of people have with it, is because after moving so far, your models will get a little bit offset. So after, you, after I spun, that piece of machinery was now off around like two feet. And that's just because the camera can't locationally track. It has to triangulate to positions. And with it only having one camera, it can't triangulate super easily.